Late summertime, little coves or pockets that Shad moved back into. What's something that we need to pay close attention to when that happens? And what's a good bait to catch the fish that show up when that happens? <laughs> oh, these, these tips are getting, I can't even figure them out. <laughs> Good morning, guys and girls. July 23. July 23, reading from a Catch a Better Life book, the book that I wrote a couple of years ago on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. It's also on Facebook, Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters. Uh, follow us on Facebook, over 600,000 people there. Uh, this particular channel on YouTube has got about 29,000 folks on there. We have a channel called Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing as well, and one called Jimmy and Chris Houston's Twin Eagle Ranch, which is our largest channel on YouTube, about 125,000 folks there. Got about 160 or 170,000 people, I think, total on YouTube. But um, we love every one of you. We love every one of you. Share with your friends. Get them on there. Get them to subscribe or, or, or become friends or whatever. July 23, reading from 2 Corinthians 5, 17. We start each day with a scripture from the Word of God. If you start each day with a scripture from the Word of God, he'll honor you for that. He'll honor you for that. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, old things have passed away. A lot of the things we used to do, we don't do them anymore. I got my hands on some hot new bait last year called a mimic impersonator, a couple years ago now. It's a clear plastic lipless crankbait lure that has an insert to allow you to change the color of your bait without changing lures. So you can have four or five or 10, or like me, I got every color made, and I can just slip that insert, take one certain insert out, put another insert in, and I change colors without changing lures. Uh, the lure is clear. It's not painted. It's a clear lure. One bait allows you a myriad of color selections. All my buddies had to have a mimic and a few color inserts as soon as I started catching fish on them. As with most products, we had some problems, and one of the problems was keeping those inserts in. But they got worked out, and now the bait works extremely well. It works really good. I heard that they caught the Virginia State record on a mimic impersonator this year. I'm not positive of that, but I had some of my buddies of mine from Virginia call me trying to get a hold of some because they caught the state record on it. I think it weighed like 15 pounds or something. When we are saved, we become new creations, new creations, new creatures. This does not mean all things will be perfect. It doesn't mean that life is going to be a bowl of cherries. We will continue to sin. And this is one thing that's difficult for a lot of people to understand. Christians sin. They sure do. And uh, a lot of people call us hypocrites because we still sin after we get saved. We will continue to sin. But now the Holy Spirit that God puts right inside of us convicts us of sin. And when it does, we repent of that sin. We ask God to forgive us, and he's, he's obliged to forgive us of that sin because Jesus Christ died on the cross, shed his blood to pay for our sins, to cover our sins. When we repent, when we genuinely repent, and we're sorry for what we have did, and we tell God that, he forgives us of our sin. We become righteous again. We have a new problem solver who we can rely on every single day, every single day. That problem solver is Jesus Christ. When we sin, Jesus has paid the price for our sins. We simply repent, ask God to forgive us, and he will. Can I tell you that Holy Spirit will keep you from sinning day by day by day as well. I come so close to committing so many sins, a lot of them with my mouth, my tongue, my speech, my thoughts. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit will say, don't, Jimmy, don't. Zip it up. Don't say it. Don't think it. Don't think it, don't say it. For goodness sakes, don't do it. Here's our tip for today. Bass will follow the shad. That's what happens. Shad will move into flats in pockets, which are small coves, during late summertime. They will come up on top of the water. A lot of them, you'll see on big schools of shad up on top of the water. And they'll kind of gravitate into the ends of small pockets in late summer. That mimic impersonator I was talking about in this particular devotion, that's a great base to throw. But Lucky Strike has come out with a, with a new uh, bait called an All American Rattler. An All American Rattler. It's not a rattlesnake. It's a rattler. It's it's a it's a lipless crankbait. Really, really a good one. It's got two fins on the back of it. Runs tremendous, and it'll really whack them. Mimic impersonator, lipless crankbait like a, an All American Rattler work great. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. Whack them, and remember, I sure do love you.